Right, she's back, she's back. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm going to see if this is working now. So if you want to quit chit chat with me, just add yourself in. Um, and I'll get you in for a little talk. One minute. It's working. Amazing. Right, let's go. Let me just make it at random so it's fair. Oh, gosh. Right, we should be having Joe join us if Joe accepts. Mm. Uh, hey! You okay? Not so bad, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. Go on, introduce yourselves to us. What's your name, where are you from? I'm Joe Cowan, I'm from Liverpool. Oh, he's, he's a scouser! Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I love the scouse accent. Do you, have you ever been to Liverpool? Yeah, I came for a night out, gosh, when I was at university. Oh, uh, one, of my best, one of my best mates from uni is a Scouser, so oh, is we, she? Um, we came yeah. to Liverpool. I just, I always do the accent to the yeah. point, if I'm at a pub, if I'm out at the pub with my friends, I'll put the Scouse accent on yeah. and see how many people I can convince that I'm a Scouser. <laughs> I was um, like, um, I had a Zoom call with Lexi the other day okay, yeah and she was a uh, she was doing our scouse accent and she she was she was good at it she was a she was a good attempt there we go i was yeah. say um my friend always says that i'm from carefree but obviously on the outside so that's where we say i'm from when where carefree oh yeah that's where i that's where i'm from is it really yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, uh, yeah, Amazing. it's funny how scared to Liverpool it is, yeah. About 15 minutes into Liverpool on the train. Yeah, already. that is what I say to people. That's where I'm from when yeah. I put on my Scouse accent. <laughs> I would do it for you now, but, like, when I do it in front of, like, Scouse, I'm like, is it actually good? Go on. just You don't even think you can do a good accent, yeah. and then you speak to someone, they're like... Mm, yeah, well, that's what, that, that's what I thought, it, like, some people do what accents now, I think. No. But some people can actually do it. Like, Lexi was, like, one of the first people who actually heard that can really do it. Convincingly. So, yeah. So, um, I think you should have a good my, Yeah, my friend would always um, teach everyone. He'd always be like, the, the two words that you say together to get yourself ready is purple chicken. Purple <laughs> And he would, that's what... That's what everyone would have to do. We'd yeah. have, like, self lessons. And he'd be like, purple chicken. Just say purple. Sure. That, 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 that even sounds good. Just saying them two words. Hey, uh, Friday. 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 <laughs> Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, Sunday. Like, even his mum, I call her, like, our Claire. Yeah. It's like, our Claire. Yeah, yeah that's our what we say. We just, even yeah. if they're not, like... Don't know, we even just... if they're not your ma, you just say, like, our Claire. Talk yeah. Like yeah, that's our Claire. Say, yeah. yeah, our Claire. Yeah. Oh, I love Liverpool. Oh, my <laughs> How old are you? 50. I'm 16 in August. 16. Oh, I was about to say, when you reach 18, it's a cracking night out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's such a good night out, gosh. Yeah. But no, and people, from, like, you're all just so friendly. That's what I really loved when we went there. It was yeah. so friendly. Um, yeah, lo loads of people say that, like, that would defend me and stuff. But, um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Very invite, very inviting. So, are yeah. you um, a Liverpool supporter, football wise? Then, yeah, or... yeah, definitely. My whole family. You're, are... you're happy at the moment, then. Yeah, very happy. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna yeah. say I come from uh, Chelsea supporters, so yeah, we were happy with the result the other night, the other day. Yeah. But, um, mm. Yeah, just happy to be there, really. <laughs> yeah, my whole family are Liverpool supporters, so ever ever <laughs> win. You kind of have to be. Have you ever met a scouser that's not, that's like totally against Liverpool? Uh, well, my cousin's in the comments down there and he's saying big up the Everton. So, <laughs> so he's so there. Like, yeah. So, Josh, you so he, he, supports, he supports Everton. Um, okay. Yeah. 
So there is there is a few, and when in like because I've left school now, I didn't get to Zoom GCSEs. But um, oh, bless you. when Liverpool got beat and stuff, Everton always like Everton supporters from school always used to um, sort of just rub it in our faces and stuff. But we're just just better than them, really. So. I was going to say, well, look at you now. So yeah, uh, exactly. Just let yeah. just let the leaderboard do the uh, do the talking. Yeah, exactly. That's oh, it. Sorry for your cousin. Yeah. But oh, well. it is well. can't really say much now, can I? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, amazing! Have you got anything planned for the rest of your week? Um. No, not really. No. no. How's no. lockdown been treating you? Um. Well, I go to like drama skills and stuff, so just been doing awesome. theme calls and stuff like that. But I've gone back to um, one of my drama skills, so oh, nice. back for two weeks now. So it's a bit different with social distancing and stuff, but yeah, but yeah, it's better than at least you get to get out of the house. and yeah. actually do it. So, and... Yeah, go and do something. Yeah, yeah. So... Even before we were told that we weren't going on the um, drive-in tour, we yeah. were doing rehearsals, and I literally was rehearsing in this kitchen. Yeah. And I just felt, I felt like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> because you're not like on the proper stage, you've yeah, not got that it? energy from yeah. the girls and it, it just was so different. But obviously yeah. yeah. I was meant to That's be coming nice. to the drive in Liverpool. Obviously it went the town cast, but uh, I know. the tour cast. I've seen the tour cast twice in Manchester and Liverpool. So oh, it, nice. have you ever seen us guys talk um no, town? No. I wanna come up though. Um Definitely um, come up soon. Yeah. Fingers crossed when we get going. Which, yeah. I don't know when that will be, but... No. Yeah. We live in hope it will be soon. Mm-hmm. All yeah. right, well, it's been lovely talking to you. You too. Thank you. Take care, mate. You See too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, what a lovely guy. A scouser. I bloody love to scouse me. Right, who else wants to join? Anybody wanna join my lab? Come on. Oh, we've got Love Zara Macintosh. It'd be bad if I didn't add my own fan page in, wouldn't it? Let's have a talk. Do 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 Hi! Hi! How are you? I'm good. Go on, introduce yourself to everybody. Um, I'm Ariel, I'm nearly 16 in November, and I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Australia! Yeah. Like, I, again, I can't really do the accent in full. <laughs> I can do a few words. Might offend you. <laughs> uh, I feel like everyone expects the Australian accent one way, but like, there's so many ways to explain it. Oh, gosh, yeah. Well, it's like the UK. We've, there's so many accents um, <laughs> all around, but yeah. So you're from Melbourne? Yeah, Melbourne. Uh, tell me, oh, see, I can't even pronounce it right. Tell me a fact about where you're from. Do you know any facts? Um, we had the first, or oh, was it? Um, we had ours from places named after Queen Victoria. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. She just said, mic drop, guys. She said her fact. Um, and then also where the most cases in Australia, we get the most COVID cases in Australia right now. Um, okay, so stay in your house, wear your mask, and wash yep. your hands. <laughs> mask okay. and grocery, 5,000 5, cases right now. Um, I just went back to work for the first time in three weeks, probably about a 12-week lockdown we're looking at. Jeez, so is this the second wave for you guys? Yeah, second wave. We've had it from April to all the way now, so. Oh, I'm like touching everything. I'm planning on going to the park tomorrow to um, meet some of my girlfriends. Um, oh, and I've got so lovely. Children, just so they can like run around in the park and stuff. So even just doing mm -hmm. that and just being able to sit in the park with your friends. We can go for walks. That's all we can do. We can't meet with friends. My I work at a restaurant, so my restaurant will probably only have to take away. Um, yeah. I'm not at school because Victoria, you do school from January all the way to December. So I'm mm -hmm. online school for the next how many weeks? So it's literally, I can't believe I'm living through a pandemic in my lifetime. 
And I know. It's I'm blessed enough to have children. I can't wait to tell them all these stories. Be like, guess what oh. mum did? I sat in my house and drank wine all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally. Oh, that's oh. Cool. Keep me busy. So that's been really helpful. Yeah, I know. That's that's the one thing I'm like I'm watching so many people go back to work and it is killing me. Um Bro, honestly, I can't I was back with the queen. I'm a casual um, worker so I had one shift a week two shifts a week and then three weeks off because of COVID and then I've had one shift a week for how many weeks now? Gosh. So it's I, I understand how it is not to work. I don't even know what working is anymore. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know like, if I work. Three weeks off I was like yeah, what's going work. on? It's like it's just like it's like a whole life it's taken it's away from me. Mm, at the beginning I loved the break because I've just been like non-stop non-stop and mm. now I'm like when yeah. can I go back to the stage um, I'm, bro- I'm, I'm hoping well, to go I to the UK stay safe and your family mm. and your friends are going to be well during this second like yeah. way um, I'm just hoping this all clears up so I can go vacation and then hopefully a couple of years I can go to the UK and see you live for yes something. Wherever yeah. I may be. That's yeah, great. I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> Let's hope it's still six, because I would love to see you in that pink alternate costume. It's like... Oh, don't. I miss her so much. Bro, I honestly, every friend I have, I miss, like, staring at and I'm like, oh, just I would do anything to be not breathing in that costume right now. Gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to sleep, I'm... because it's, like, 10 p.m. for me. Oh, bless you. Yes obviously yeah. across the pond well anyway <laughs> thank you for joining me and all the best with the whole second wave of covid yeah hopefully your cases don't go up too high fingers crossed okay, see ya. take care night night bye all right uh, guys i'll do two more um and then i must get outside and plant my roses <laughs> and clean out my little swimming pool that I've got okay so I'm inviting Callum in to the chat Callum 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 hello hello how are you I'm all right yeah do you want to introduce yourself where are you from um I'm Callum I'm 17 and I'm from London there we go from what part of London are you from um West London Okay, right. Specific, specific. Um, like you don't have pa- to give me your postcode or your road name. <laughs> like um, Paddington. Uh, okay, because I, li- I went to uni in West London, so I lived in Elin for three years. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm team West London, if anybody says, like, oh, where have you lived in London? Yeah. Oh, amazing. So what are you up to at the moment? Um, I'm working with my dad. Oh, what are you doing? Are you just sitting um, in another desk or...? I have, I have to help my dad because he's got some, like, painting jobs to do, so I just have to be there for, like, health and safety. Nice. Um, are yeah. you doing any painting or are you literally just the overseer? No, I'm just overseeing my dad. Oh, OK. <laughs> just standing there holding the ladder, really. How's dad getting on? Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> he's, he's been working, like, non-stop for, like, a year and a half, so... Oh, wow. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So how, how's COVID affected you? Um, it's been all right. Um, it's just weird because my sister lives in Bristol with my niece. Mm-hmm. But I haven't been able to see my niece for a while. Um, I know that's so gutting when family live, like, far. Yeah. But um, I've not long lost my cousin. Oh, bless you. Sorry to hear that. Uh, thank you. But... It was his funeral, so only um, a few of us could go, and I wasn't the lucky one. So, I know that. So, like, gosh, words like that kind of experience during this like time must be really, really difficult. Yeah, um, I feel very blessed that I've not had to deal with that, but I know people that have, and yeah, and to like have to pick short it's like shortlifting people to a funeral is just yeah un- unheard of kind of thing so yeah. i hope that you get to have your time and grieve and do what you need to do yeah um, i mean i've gone to the cemetery um 
twice now mm-hmm. um and I've, I've it's quite hard to take in um but I'm trying as much yeah as I can. well that's what you can do just uh take every day as it comes and um don't don't rush the process that's what I yeah. used to say like don't rush it like allow yourself to to be sad um yeah but yeah Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, is there anything you want from me to cheer your day up? Um, well, I, I was hoping to come to to see Six in the driving with my niece because oh. she's she's three and she loves it. Mhm. And she she's just constantly asking me to take her. But obviously, I can't take her to a real theatre to see it because yeah. there's an age limit. Yeah, but the driving um, would have been perfect. Things, yeah, but, she uh, she was she went when I told her I was thinking about going. She was like, "I want to mm-hmm. come, I want to come, I want to come," and I've still not heard the end of it. Oh, so. well, have you bought tickets for the reunion? Um, not yet. I'm going to get on it. Get on it. I'm saying this as if I know there's still tickets available. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. I think Taylor will mostly be like Zara. The tickets are sold out. I don't know. I I'm think the, I think tickets. it was yesterday he posted that there's only a few left. I think there's oh, only like twenty five ish. So yeah. I'm gonna jump on, on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Oh, well send in send in all all the love to West London right now. Yeah, um, thank you. Hold tight onto your dad's ladder. Do not let him fall. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> <laughs> thank all right you. then, have a great rest of your week. You too. Bye. Bye. How do I work this? There you go. Right, one more person. One more person. Um, let's do Grace because she says, "Please, can I come on?" I'll be your fairy godmother. I will after your niece. Hi. Hey! <laughs> I was just saying, I was your fairy godmother, and I um, answered your needs, <laughs> and you are here on the live with me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Grace, and I'm from the Wirral, which is near Liverpool. There, the Wirral! I know about that as well. Oh, we've got another Scouser. I must just have a sixth sense, like, you Scousers are just drawing me in today. <laughs> um, but yeah, so how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Good to be good. What have you been up to during quarantine season? I've been doing online school up until, like, a week and a half ago or so gosh so yeah <laughs> like I the thought of sitting in front of a computer and doing school work in my own home without being able to distract somebody else in the classroom sounds awful to me yeah it's really boring <laughs> <laughs> are you actually learning stuff now um depends on the subject like we're mostly just going over old stuff which I don't see helpful but it's work so they're setting it anyway but like some stuff we kind of just have to teach ourselves and if we don't get it well kind of tough (laughs) Um, what year are you in i'm going into year nine so i'm picking my gcses next year right i was gonna say so many people have said like what year they're in and i'm like yes that year (laughs) and in my head i'm like no clue in that year like what did i do do you know what you want to pick for your GCSEs? Um, I want to, I'm contemplating between going towards like a veterinary side of thing with animals or going on to a medical side of thing with like, I, want, I quite like paediatrics because like when I was younger, I kind of had like a lot of stuff to deal with health wise. <laughs> so it kind of like inspired me to like kind of help out like children who were in a similar situation that I was in. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. whatever you choose to go down, I'm sure you're going to be fantastic in it. So <laughs> you definitely don't have to worry about that at all. Ah, oh, that's so good. Oh, I love animals. What's your favourite animal? I have two cats, but I oh. really, really love French bulldogs. Like, <gasps> I, it's my dream. Don't. Actually. I've got a French bulldog bag. I know. I'm no, like, not a dog. No, I was about to say no. Sorry, <laughs> that sounded like I was about to say I've got a French bulldog and he he is. No, <laughs> I've got a bag because I've wanted a dog for ages. I grew up with cats and fish all my life, um, and it's not that my mum and dad never let me get a dog. We just were so busy that 
we were, we knew we wouldn't be able to give like the love and attention to the dog that it deserves. Um, and I've been in my own house now for two years and my fiance keeps saying, well, can we get a dog? Can we get a dog? And I'm like, in time, like I can't look after it the way I want to. And I'm too scared that while I go away and I'm working, the dog will love him more. And I'm not yeah. having that. I can't come home and be like, hi to the dog. And it to look at me and be like, who are you? That's like one of my cats. She can't stand me for some reason. Like she just does not like me. And then the other one's just obsessed with me and won't leave me alone. I have, I have to be the favourite parent yeah. to our to our fur baby. So it needs a bit of time. Call me selfish. I don't care. It needs a bit of time when I'm ready to be like, I can love this dog. But yeah, no, I have a French bulldog um, bag. It literally it cost me a hundred pounds. And I bought it because it's literally a backpack. Yeah. Let's, I'll go and show you because I'm coming off the live in a minute. So let me just end. <laughs> let me end with a with a show and tell. I'll go upstairs and <laughs> it's hanging on my uh, my wall at the moment. Are you ready? I called him Prince. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Look at him! Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Like, <laughs> he's like hard. Yeah. Like solid. Um, so yeah, that's my dog. I got it from, uh, I got it from Hong Kong. <laughs> um, it was a hundred, equivalent of a hundred British pounds, uh, which was worth every single penny. Um, his name is Prince. And I was at the airport one day and he was sat on the chair next to me. Um, and the woman came over, the waitress came over and said, oh, oh, sorry, sorry to interrupt your meal, but um, you're not allowed pets in the restaurant. <laughs> and I, I literally picked it up and was like, it's a bag. And she was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So yes, I my bag really does look like a real dog so. <laughs> that that's the closest thing i'm gonna get to a fur baby but yeah it's been lovely speaking to you yes thank you i hope whatever like venture you go down career wise it will be one of loads of joy and success so have an amazing rest of your week you too. Will we be seeing you at the driving reunion? Yes, I'm coming. Yeah! Yeah, I was, All right, then. I was going the driving, and then the other two shows I was meant to go to got cancelled because of corona. So then, still hoping to go in December if it happens on tour. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Well, we'll see you at the driving reunion then. Yeah. Bye! Bye! Bye. Guys, you're all so lovely. I'm gonna sign off of this live now and um, get on with some jobs. Like I said, I need to plant my roses, clean my garden, um, and I need to wipe the pool that I've got in the garden. It's not a big one, it's just like an inflatable pool. But I need to clean it and pack it away. Um, I will most probably do a live later on this evening if it's something that people want. It's cool to have you on and to talk to you guys. So yes, lots of love. Hope to see you soon. Keep sending questions and I'll try and answer as many as I can. Okay then, ciao.